If you've been prototyping with large language models, you might be wondering if there's a way you can improve the quality of responses beyond just handcrafting prompts. So let's dive in and look at what it takes to tune a large language model and how to launch a tuning job from Vertex Generative AI Studio. As a quick recap, the prompt is your text input that you pass to the model. Your prompt might look like an instruction, and maybe you add some examples. Then you send this text to the model to get it to take on the behavior that you want. Prompt design allows for fast experimentation and customization. And because you're not writing any complicated code, you don't need to be an ML expert to get started. But coming up with prompts can be tricky. Small changes in wording or word order can impact the model results in ways that aren't totally predictable. And you can't really fit all that many examples into a prompt. Even when you do discover a good prompt for your use case, you might notice that the quality of model responses isn't totally consistent. One thing we can do to alleviate these issues is tune the model. So what's tuning, you ask? Well, one version you might be familiar with is fine tuning. In this scenario, we take a model that has been pre-trained on a generic data set, we make a copy of this model, and then using those learned weights as a starting point, we retrain the model on a new domain-specific data set. This technique has been pretty effective for lots of different use cases. But when we try to fine tune LLMs, we run into some challenges. LLMs are, well, as the name suggests, large. So updating every weight would take a very long training job. Compound all of that computation with the hassle and cost of now having to serve this giant model. And as a result, fine tuning a large language model might not be the best option for you. But there's an innovative approach to tuning called parameter efficient tuning. This is a super exciting research area that aims to reduce the challenges of fine tuning LLMs by only training a small subset of parameters. These parameters might be a subset of the existing model parameters, or it could be an entirely new set of parameters. For example, maybe you add on some additional layers to the model or an extra embedding to the prompt. Figuring out the optimal methodology is an active area of research, but the key benefit here is that you're not having to retrain the entire model and all of its many weights. Parameter efficient tuning can also make serving models simpler in comparison to fine tuning. Instead of having an entirely new model you need to serve, you just use the existing base model and add on the additional tuned parameters. If you want to learn more about parameter-efficient tuning and some of the different methods, there's a summary paper linked below for those who are extra curious. But if you just want to get to building, then let's jump into Generative AI Studio and see how to kick off a tuning job. From the language section of Vertex Generative AI Studio, select Tuning. To create a tuned model, we provide a name, then point to the local or cloud storage location of your training data. Parameter-efficient tuning is ideally suited for scenarios where you have modest amounts of training data, say hundreds or maybe thousands of training examples. Your training data should be structured as a supervised training data set in a text-to-text -text format. Each record or row in the data will contain the input text, in other words, the prompt, followed by the expected output of the model. This means that the model can be tuned for a task that can be modeled as a text-to-text -text problem. After specifying the path to your data set, you can start the tuning job and monitor the status in the cloud console. When the tuning job completes, you'll see the tuned model in the Vertex AI model registry, and you can deploy it to an endpoint for serving or test it out in Generative AI Studio. That's an overview of parameter-efficient tuning and tuning models in Vertex Generative AI Studio. Check out the links below to learn more about Generative AI on Vertex and to learn more about large language models. Thanks for watching and definitely let us know in the comments what you're building with Generative AI.